Hey everybody, it's Ben here, and today I want to show you how I made a cast brass trilobite. This really got started when I got myself a Vivor 3 burner LP blacksmithing forge. This is designed for heating iron to be able to pound it and make different shapes out of it. But I quickly found that it was just large enough to hold a small crucible for melting metal. Now all a crucible is, is basically just a cup made out of some sort of material that can be heated a lot hotter than the melting point of the metal you're melting. And it looks really cool when it's heated up. For the brass, I just used whatever scrap material I had around, including spent 22 rounds. Now this wasn't actually my first metal cast. In fact, my first one uh, was just making a depression in some sand and pouring molten brass into it. That gave me this kind of a lump shape, but it was good enough to fit to the end of my pirate flintlock pistol, drill a hole through it, put a brass screw in, and then start sanding and grinding and polishing until I actually had a pretty nice brass butt cap for my pirate pistol. I also tried making a copy of this belt buckle by pressing it down into some kinetic sand. It wasn't a very good copy, but it was still good practice and kind of a neat object when it was done. Lastly, I made a gold bar. This actually started off as a 3D model, which I designed in Fusion 360, uh, particularly because the sides of this had a draft and I was starting to experiment with lettering. Then I put it in a box, covered it with talcum powder, covered that with uh, compactable sand, pulled the mold out, and I had an exact impression of my 3D printed gold bar. Then I poured in the molten metal and had a pretty cool rough casting. Then after a whole lot of polishing, I had my quote unquote mini gold bar. So this was all great practice for the trilobite. I'd found this in a YouTube video by Robinson Foundry, where he made some really neat bronze trilobites, and he posted his 3D file. So I was able to take a look at it, uh, download it to my computer, and then bring it over into my 3D printer slicer software, where I could double check my printer settings, make sure I had supports set up right, and then be able to actually 3D print a copy of this trilobite. Here's what the actual 3D print looked like once it was done. I packed the model down in my two-part sand mold, completely filled in with sand, compacted it well, and then I added a hole for the molten metal to go in and one for air to come out. Then it was time to do the actual metal pour. One thing that I think is pretty neat right here is you can actually see the metal on top cooling right before your eyes. Before I had started, I screwed together both halves of the box so it couldn't come apart while I was pouring the metal. So I had to take the screws back out before I could take apart my two-part mold. You can see the scorch marks in the bottom half of the box, and the casting itself actually stuck in the top half. Oh, cool! <laughs> nice! Very cool.
Ah, I can't believe it turned out. So here's the 3D print next to the rough casting. After the grinder and wire wheel, the trilobite looked really nice, very shiny. But I didn't really want shiny, I wanted old timey. So what I did is I put it in a glass jar with some ammonia so that the vapors would give it a nice patina. So here we are with that patina, kind of turned out pretty cool with sort of a blues and greens in there, but I couldn't see the brass anymore. So I polished it back with some very fine quality steel wool. That way, I'd get the nice dark patina in all the low areas and the nice shiny brass in all the high areas. Let's look at this again with the original shiny brass on the left and then the finished version with the patina in the low areas and the polished brass in the high areas on the right. I really like the look of it. It gives it a lot more contrast. It gives it sort of an old-timey look and um, I'm very happy with the finish. And here's the final product. It even looks really cool on the inside. I love the patina there. Um, out in the sunlight, we get a little bit better view of all the detail of the project. I think an important thing to remember about this project is I didn't start right with the trilobite. I worked on a couple of other projects first and learned a lot very quickly from working on those. That gave me the skills, abilities, and confidence to then work into a two-part sand mold, make the trilobite, and have it turn out exactly how I wanted it to. I hope you like these projects. If you do, please like, comment, subscribe, Share this with your friends and come visit us over at 300mpg.org. And until next time, stay charged up.